Another weapon that I noticed, I don't know if you noticed it, Korg's arm is in there. Yes. Yeah. I, I, when I watched it again, I'm like, isn't that Korg's arm? And then uh, he explained it. He got it from uh, a, a very talkative character. Yes. I was yes. like, oh. Man, my face is so bright. Uh huh. You mm. wanted it that way. What? You wanted it that way. Maybe. Welcome and thank you for listening and watching to your favorite podcast. This is the Maximum Filipino Show. I am not the only one in this podcast. I have Waka in this podcast. Yes. Um, we just have two different set of cameras, and we're mm -hmm. we're killing it. We're just we're we're doing it. Um, but in this podcast. We're doing After Flicks, as you can see in the title. Uh, we're doing... What, are what we doing? if? Oh, what if. <laughs> That's right. We're forget. doing What If, Episode 2. Maybe I did that on purpose so I can pan the camera in your face. You never know. Right. No, actually, I, I, Show I did off. that. No, I did that on purpose. But <laughs> we're doing What If. This is the Episode 2, What If. Um, and let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about What If. And... Uh, we're a little late. We're a week behind, but yeah. we're, we're making it. We're making it happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about what if. Um, what do you think about this episode? Um, it wasn't too exciting how it kicked off, but as it went on, I, it didn't give me the strong impression that I, uh, that I had like it did on the first episode. Um, but the theory of him being Star-Lord T'Challa is typical and expected for someone as knowledgeable as him and i thought there were some easter eggs that was similar to some of the main but i might be wrong did you catch anything like that or any ideas watching it you look very serious what's wrong with your face unfortunately you can't see his face but <laughs> um, something wrong with his face no because i was looking at my notes and i one of my notes says thailand became <laughs> star lord <laughs> what the heck is thailand I think it, it ought to correct to T'Challa, you know, from T'Challa to, to Thailand. Thailand. So or apparently, Thailand. apparently T'Challa is, is Thailand. Um, <laughs> no, it was good. So I, I think my one of my assumption that this is going to be a completely different series of events. It's not um, it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be connected. It's a possibility. But at the same time. At, time. Time. at the same time, I saw a clip where um, um, Captain Carter, Captain Carter, was Carter. with um, uh, Doctor Strange. So I don't know. I I I don't know if it's a real as thing. As Captain Carter or as a Captain, Agent Carter? As ap as Captain Carter. With Doctor Strange? Yeah, with Doctor Strange. In her universe or in another verse, universe or multiverse, or what are we talking about? You need you didn't hear my, what I said, didn't you? You saw a you clip. Like, I'm trying to figure passed, out where that. You you. <laughs> you said a clip. You and I was like, what? You you phased out. No, I said because remember, I assumed that all of these episodes will be totally separate episodes of what if. Okay. And that's why. Yes. Uh, the first one is Captain Carter. The second one is T'Challa, Star Lord. Um, but I saw a clip that Captain Carter was with, um, Doctor Strange. Mm. So interesting, you know what I mean. So that's a possibility that it's connected to the first episode. Yes. So is it is it really all different episodes or just jumping to oh we have this what if and then we will go to a different what if again and then the the next episode will be connected to the first what if. So I don't know. No, I think it's just gonna, if it's it could be another what if still with the concept of Agent or Captain Carter, but. A different universe because we all know after watching loki uh, next nexuses happen within nexuses so yeah but this is a this is not a nexus this is a what if well a nexus is another word for multiverse well okay sure what if what if yeah so what if it's like a it's just a thought the yes it is a multiverse but in the in the presupposition of this this show mm -hmm. it's just they're thinking about all right so what if this happens what's gonna happen kind of thing right you know what i mean so it, it, it's not connected to anything about multiverse 
or okay. a story behind any of this multiverse. It's just it's just a what if. Okay. What if my thought is right? <laughs> Might be one of the dumbest thing you would hear in this episode, <laughs> and I say one of the, because might not be the last dumbest Anyways. thing you hear. Okay, so let's start with this. Uh, what if? So I mentioned the Chala became um, Star Lord, and I like I like what they went with the T'Challa's being Star Lord and him being the um, a way more successful and likable Star Lord than with Chris. Um, I think Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. So, and I think I like that idea because, um, because T'Challa as Black Panther is honorable person. Yes. He's an honorable, respectful person that everybody around him respect him, not just because he's a king, but, or, you know, a prince, but because he is who he is. You right. You know what I mean? No, I, uh, I kind of felt maybe it's because I'm used to it already. I already have a fixed concept of what. Star load uh, or star load, <laughs> star load. What Chris? That's Pat. not like a porn. <laughs> star oh, load. Shut up. <laughs> well, I'm already used to Chris Pratt being fixed to it, and it's just kind of hard for me to be open minded on that because I'm fixed. Because uh, or maybe it's because I felt it was pretty dull for his character being Star Lord. It um he went. Uh, T'Challa was more calm. I mean, you can see in his movie, uh, uh, Black, Black Black Panther. Panther yeah that his personality is pretty chill there's not much i mean though his life was action-packed but his personality wise is always calm and collected so there was no dynamics in his character he is always smooth and steady with no matter the cost or no matter the situation was so maybe because i was a bit uh too lax on the concept of starler being so smooth no, actually, Star Lord is not smooth. He's just more of a okay. When you say smooth, he's talking about like I don't even know if he's smooth with girls because he's terrible with girls. Uh, well, he was doing just fine with all the other. Well, maybe he's terrible with girls because he did fine with all the fellas that in his crew. Yeah, so I think he's not the big difference between him and um, T'Challa, Star Lord. T'Challa is more like what you said. He's more calm, but he is more not not but end. It's not a contrast. It's a continuation. Yes. And he is more, he's a plan ahead person. Like, yes. you know, he planned everything and he makes sure that everything works right. perfectly fine. But with, um, but with, uh, Chris Pratt, as what was his real name? Um, uh, it was, uh, not, not, he, Quill. Uh, Quill. Peter Quill. Yeah. Peter Quill. But with Peter Quill, he's more like, um, he's more impulsive. Let's just do so this. you know, I remember these names because I just watched it. I'm terrible with names. Go ahead. Nobody's really. About okay. No, you already stated I, in this I, podcast in the past podcast. I'm terrible with names. Yeah, I love that you premise everything. That's <laughs> okay. Anyway, so Peter Quill is more impulsive, but um, right. the impulsiveness, he's impulsive, and it works out. Like yes. he just wing it, and it just happens, and it, it, it's a much better plan. Hence, the Infinity War. He had a better plan than Tony Stark. Um, his plan is more impulsive, mm -hmm. but wor yeah. works better and more riskier, but works better than, than Tony Stark. So I think that's that's their big difference. But like I said, with um, with T'Challa, it's more effective and it's more um, respectful than than anybody else. I think it's because it's T'Challa. He, I think any role he would have been fine. Um. I don't know, cause imagine him being Iron Man. Uh, he'll still kick ass, and he's smart in doing what he wants to do. Uh, he'll work it out, like you said. He plans ahead. Yeah, but the um, it's the as Iron Man, him him being smart, genius, and philanthropist and playboy. All the thoughts that he has for his Iron Man sooth evolves because of his character. But being T'Challa, um. His uh, what do you call this? His uh, Black Panther suit. It's not because of him. It's because of his sister. Mm, his son's crew or his yeah. little arm. Oh, okay, I see what you. You mean. know what I mean? Um, and now if you go to, like, imagine him being Captain America. Um, um, him being Captain America. Um, and I think it goes it goes towards with Captain Carter too. You know, it's um, 
he will he because he's a soldier he will mm-hmm. just do the action instead of just sitting around and waiting of what the government is gonna tell him to do because that's the early um, Captain America before Civil War and then when Civil War happened it's like screw it I'm gonna do whatever I want you know what I mean kind of person but would he be under a government that's the question um, no well, you know like if he is Captain America would he be under a government or he would be like screw it I'll do whatever I want and I'm gonna do it better uh, I think he'll st- still do that you think he will still be under government? Um, uh, no, he will do his own thing. Yeah, I think so. I don't even think he will take the serum, to be honest. No. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't mean, think he will take the serum. He did just find the Star-Lord, but in this... Position. Yeah, I know, right? Um, right? Yeah, I don't think he would. Uh, if he was Captain America. Uh... No, the only reason why he took the... Um, the, the fruit. The, the, or the, the plant, yeah. The flower. The flower. Because that's part of their tradition being passed yeah, as a king. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm processing that in my head. Because um, he was very different from uh, Steve Rogers. He, uh, Steve Rogers was born as a short, skinny-looking dude. Versus T'Challa, he grew up in a proportional body. Just from a young kid, growing to be a strong guy. Uh, or, or T'Challa just worked out and he just trained as a warrior. Cause, um, well, that's you what know, I mean. Uh, yeah, because Steve Rogers could have done that, but he just couldn't. Yeah, his physique. It, I mean, there's not really any anything that Marvel said. Maybe in the comic book, but Marvel said that it's uh, a physical condition for him not to be able to be bigger and stronger and muscular. You know what I mean? I think it's just his own option. Like he couldn't. He didn't work out. Um, wait, he couldn't work out? No, 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 no he couldn't. But he he didn't, basically. Um. F- before being Captain America? Yeah, before taking the serum. Because we're comparing the two between T'Challa and and Steve um, Rogers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they both probably have the same... They're both normal. The only difference is T'Challa um, trained as a warrior in Black Panther and a scavenger in uh, as a Star-Lord. You know what I mean? Compared to Captain America, that he's just a normal human being. He didn't have any, con- like, a physical condition that, that, like, he's stuck there. You know what I mean? Like he's not a a dwarf or or no he wasn't a dwarf but he's he, just a, a regular person he was a regular person with terrible physique and yeah because he didn't yeah because he didn't work out you know he didn't train I mean I uh, true I mean it didn't show but he tried if you've seen First Avenger it's just uh, he it the movie depicted that he just had terrible physique and. Uh, yeah, Posture like terrible p- physique. Because even during the um, the army, when he joined the army, he was trying to run and he like passing out yes. and he couldn't do it. So he, he had the terrible physique. So they're both just normal human being. Nothing is special about him. Nothing like Thor, or you but know, or anything short. like that. Well, yeah, he is short, but I mean, Wolverine is short. Yeah, uh, Wolverine wasn't short. Was yeah, it? the real Wolverine is. Okay, but. He was short then when he took the serum. Well, okay, yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, but I, I, I guess, I guess I, well, I guess Wolverine is a mutant, so that doesn't count. Um, but that 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 shouldn't that shouldn't stop you, right? I mean, because he, he's short, but his body is nothing. Wolverine? No, no, Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers. Yeah, I, I mean, because he was already at that age, like a full grown man. He was like I don't know, twenty two, twenty three. God knows how old he was then. Um, but he was still short. I mean, like not a midget. He was just he did, he wasn't fitted oh, to be. He is also sickly. He's sick. There like he go. got asthma or something. And yet he still tried. Yeah, I th- I, I think he got asthma because he got the 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 um, whatever, whatever you nebulizer call that. nebulizer. No, it's a oh maybe you're right. It is nebulizer. Yeah. I think. But there's another word for it. Uh, well, anyway, um, asthma gun. <laughs> asthma gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, let's go back to let's go back to the show. Um, T'Challa, right, became Star Lord, and yeah. that's the whole premise of the whole show. Um, a lot of shocking, if man, it, a lot, mm-hmm. a lot of what if, um, shocking right. um, revelation or effect of him being Star Lord. It was crazy, and yeah, we can talk about was, that eventually. Oh, I mean, not yeah. just crazy. He was amazing. I mean, like, uh, uh, like right, right. Let's talk about right off the bat. Right, right off the bat. 
um i forgot his name the guy who like we're waiting for it like contrast between and i think this is what's gonna happen with what, what if episodes in podcasts that we're gonna do is we're gonna contrast the two the original and the what if character because we mm. did that with steve rogers and captain carter right. you know what i mean uh peggy carter um so now we're gonna go with contrast between the two um with peter quill a star lord we see that he wasn't respected. He wasn't well known. He wasn't even popular. Right. Um, and even his enemies in us uh, in T'Challa, even his enemies idolized him. Like yeah. the guy who the guy in um, in Peter Quill's like when he said, "Oh, I'm also known." Like Peter Quill said, "I'm also known as Star Lord." Star Lord. And he said, "Who?" But with this one, instead of um, instead of saying who. He even finished the set, you know, the words like, "Are you Star Lord?" The Star Lord, yes. Yeah, right. He he ad, he he ad, admired him. He was like, he, "I'm a fan. I'm a number one fan of this guy." I was uh, just comparing the two. It was very different. Um, but knowing what T'Challa did, I mean, in the rest of the mo- um, the episode of the What If episode, I can see why. Because uh, you named, you said it. Um, T'Challa was very. Uh, he's calm and collected, but he was very successful compared to uh, Peter Quill. Oh, because I think I noticed too that um, Peter Quill. No, no. Um, I'm sorry. T'Challa likes working with other people. Well, it could be that too. But remember, they two had different upbringings. One, T'Challa had a king for a father before he got abducted, and knowing how monarchy works, the kings would just push on knowledge of uh, bureaucracy or monarchy into their children to know how eh, to rule. That's not really true because look at um look at uh look at Thor. Uh typical. You know? Okay, that's typical. Typical. Thor was a different story. He no, but that's that's the hierarchy. That's the monarchy. That's but the he learned to be humble queen. after he made a mistake. Well yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. Um, but typically that's what happens they will just well that's what happened Thor after becoming an adult but normally kids at uh, a young age because when we saw uh, uh, T'Challa when he was a kid he was still with his father and his father was still going on with what uh, what to expect what to know what to learn about living in Wakanda and what to expect outside the world he was still teaching his kid versus oh there is another that's another fact he still had his father versus Peter Quill someone to look up to to learn from versus Peter Quill he had only his mom his sickly mom and all his immediate relatives right there but all he was doing was listening to music avoiding the truth of what's going on yeah but he uh, T'Challa re- rebelled too well he rebelled but he knew what he's doing versus Peter Quill who just simply got abducted to me he looked like a kid who still needed to go back to school okay so um, there's this whole debate right the whole debate of um, your upbringing or your character as a person mm-hmm. was it your um, uh, what was the word they said it's it was it your I forgot what's the word but basically was it your own choice or because of the people around you that affects you I think ultimately is your choice so it, well then if that's the case it doesn't matter if the child grew up with his dad and, well, I mean, and, and Peter Quill okay, didn't. So the reason why I say ultimately it had to be um, the character's choice or the person's choice um, because he still had to decide. But that's all based on the things that may have factored in his life that was taught in his life. If we were to in, um, influence by other people around him, he would have chose whether to listen to them or not or use them as a basis to learn. Maybe I should have done this or should I have done this? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you could also go with... Um, if if let's say with Peter Quill, I experienced these bad things. Maybe I could have chosen not to be to be a better person, so those bad things that had happened with my parents wouldn't happen to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. In in the choices part, so was it was it uh, the things that affects you? Was it your own choice, or was it the people that around you that affects you? Um, I mean that's to me that's like. Those things have happened hand in hand, but again, it still goes back to me saying, ultimately, is your choice. Okay. Well, yeah, like I said, if if it's your choice, I'm going back to that. Then it doesn't matter if the child grew up with the dad, and Peter Quill didn't, because uh, ultimately, it's still going to be their choice. Uh, well, you're right. It's just you have to. Uh, okay, 
you're right. It's ultimately their choice. What I'm t- just factoring that their background, that some of their life experience before being abducted, bef- uh, both of them, in the What If and Peter Quill, they had some influence, some knowledge of learning right and wrong, good or bad. And the only difference between one, one is impulsive, like you mentioned earlier. The other one just had a great plan out. Like he knew how to plan, anticipate, uh, see his flaws or what could have happened, whether it worked out or not. It's, I still believe that some, they still had some knowledge uh, um, as their upbringing before abduction, but one was just a lot more higher than the other. That's what I believe. Mm, I don't know the because the the biggest difference too is the approach of Yandu when it comes to him you know what I mean like why was Yandu more nicer to Chachala than he was with Peter Quill well this is 20 years later um no 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 when they when he was abducted because when he was abducted um Yandu right away fell in love with him and said I'm he's my son I'm gonna train him he's gonna be with me except with Peter Quill we're gonna eat him and Yandu said, no, we'll save him. And maybe eventually we'll, well eat him. Uh, maybe because the impression, uh, personality-wise, uh, Peter Quill was the actual uh, the actual uh, job. He was the job to capture. When they found him, um, probably to child, knowing because they're uh, ra- Ravengers? Ra- yeah, yeah, Ravengers. And all they're about is like uh, just a Sky version pirate. Mm-hmm. Um, so they had the, I, I, I'm forgetting words, in a way, a hostage in the sense of so they can uh, get more money from whom they're yeah. buying from. Um, versus T'Challa, my assumption is that when, um, what's his name again? Yandu. Yandu looked at him and saw that he had spunk, like he wasn't shocked because I just watched it. Mm-hmm. He was like, you don't seem surprised. I was like, I'm so, and then he asked the question, what are you doing away from home why are you trying to run away I'm exploring the world and Yandu just maybe kind of it triggered him or kind of hit homes like well that's what I wanted to do well what, what, why stick to one world when I can show you all of them that's what he said in yeah right right so maybe it's because he but connected- it, it wouldn't, see it, it, his reaction to Chachala it's it's um, it's a what if in itself I think it, that's another, uh, that's a different version of Yandu. Well, that could be too. That well, could be too. Because if you're uh, Reven- Ravagers, if you're a pirate, would you be nice to that one kid who just, he says, I want to see the the world? Well, who knows? He must have done it so long that he wanted a little change in his life. And then that kid just came in. Probably he never had a son. What if he just had a, a son that died and decided to raise another one that could be his own. that's why it is a one if in itself because see if you're a ravager based on all these ravagers they are just killing um stealing and just destroying straight hoodlums that's it right so th- th- that version of yandu in itself is a what if okay you know what i mean and um with with your basis as a uh with your um um interpretation with between the two that's absolutely 100 percent a what if? Oh, um, um, a possibility. Oh, can can you let me finish what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I'm throwing it's, words there. Uh, it's uh, it's 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 a hundred percent correct that he Peter Quill was a um, a mission, a something that they want to sell. But Yandu just fell in love with him, or just gave him another chance. It's like um, I don't know if I want to do this, or or something. We we never really know because he wasn't explained why he kept. Um, Peter Quill instead of giving to Ego. Oh no no no! He hated Ego. That's why he didn't like Ego. B- um, both uh, Yandu hated Ego. Huh? Both Yandus hated Ego. Yeah, but, but if okay. And the real but one. but like I said, T'Challa has nothing to do with Ego. So if exactly. you're a Ravager, if you're a if you're a pirate, this kid has nothing to do with Ego, nothing to do with my project. Why would I keep him? Okay. Yeah. Uh. So. Yeah, that Yandu is a what if in itself. True. Maybe he just got tired of eating humans because they were planning to eat Quill or, um, yeah, Peter Quill. So that was like, uh, I don't know. Okay, let's stick to it. Yeah, what you, if? I know. You, yeah. Anyways, let's continue on. I think we just sticked on that. Because if, you, if you're going with uh, assumptions, then we can say so maybe he he's gay and he liked T'Challa. 
That could have been what if. Yeah, I know, and we're like assuming right now, but based on just the the um, the exegesis of this whole thing, because <laughs> we word. can't go and assume things over and over again based on just the movies. We know that Ravagers are just look. I'm savage. just making logical assumptions that wouldn't have made sense in my head to the questions that you've asked. But yeah, um, long story short, Yondu is a what if. I mean, what was the difference between his personality towards? Uh, or his attitude towards Quill and because the the um the big impact that happened with T'Challa of him being himself, big part of it is Yandu. Yeah, true. You know, like Yandu being with him, like them partnering together, training him, right? And and T'Challa really liked working with people compared with with um, Peter Quill that. He just want to work alone. alone. Yeah, that's true. Working and that, with people. That's, yeah, that's evident too during Guardians of the Galaxy before the whole crew um, meet up. Mm -hmm. He like, nope, I'm going solo. I'm doing this by myself. True. Now, working with people or his, I think his, his uh, I don't know what was his theory or his concept. He said it, and I couldn't get the words together. Basically, he was a living space Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. um, uh, according to the um, the show, he um, he they still carry the title Ravagers, but um, T'Challa had effect uh, 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 had an effect in their choices of what they decided to do. Because before they just again they were hoodlums, but uh, um, T'Challa shaped them up to do what's right. So they would steal from the great to help the those who were less fortunate mm -hmm. basically he was a space robin hood i like the fact that uh no because i think t'challa changed their mind that's so what they, i mean yeah so they weren't uh our ravagers anymore yeah as t'challa grew older he just uh he like i said his personality or his charisma had an effect on everyone's concept or uh, mentality or thought i mean like he and, even and recruited Thanos yeah, and it's crew. not it's not just the charisma, but the vision, because he changed Yandu's vision instead of being a Ravager. Right, it became traveling universes and exploring all these things and experiencing it. I just couldn't find the words, but yes, and changed the vision. I'm I'm trying to get there. It's just some thing, whatever T'Challa said, he was able to convince a lot of people in to help him in his goal of being good in a bad way. If that's the right way, being a rival, and basically, or being bad in a good way, being bad in a good <laughs> way. I like how Yondu just mentioned uh, as an example of Robin Leech because he's Robin Hood is leeching on the, the mm. rich. Mm. Okay, so the another another difference that I noticed um, during that uh, when they're trying to get the power storm mm -hmm. power power stone orb. Yes. Um, one of the weapons, even his weapons are completely different, right? Mm -hmm. The the guns are the same. The He's same. still using guns, uh, but the remember the, the remember the weapon that he used to um, to get the orb. Yeah, that was uh, it. Was the same? It was the same one, but I don't know if he tw uh, uh, did something with it. But it was the same thing that was a magnet to get the orb. Mm -hmm. But the way, how did he take it? Because Peter Quill just threw threw it on the ground and he, he sucked in. It sucked in. He yeah. held it. He held it and just it yeah. just got it. Yeah. But then he took it off when he was getting shot at after the whole ordeal with his fan and so forth. Um, he re-imputed whatever he did with it, making it a bomb, basically, and then threw it at them. Yeah. So exploded. the 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 difference is um, the big difference with that weapon itself. In I don't know if you remember in Guardians of the Galaxy he used the same weapon to grab the orb and he used the same weapon again for the soldiers he threw it on the ground and they they got sucked in but in oh. this one this one he that's threw right. it on the ground and instead of pulling it pushes out right so that's like the the contrast between a Peter Quill and T'Challa Star Lord mm. Peter Quill was in in the weapon and T'Challa's out push. so did he get the soldiers together or did he just grab the weapons. No, no, together. Remember, they were stuck together. Okay. They well, were stuck together on the ground. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think you would catch that. I didn't realize. <laughs> I remember it. Now. I remember it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then the the charisma between the two is totally different. Like they're both they were both charismatic, 
you know uh but the peter cool charisma has more of the the dancing charisma the funny charisma yes. you know what i mean but when it comes to um t'challa he's more the he, the, you can the still handsome he's a king like the hands yeah the handsome respectful charisma yeah. like those those guys that wear in a suit and they're walking like ooh, that's intimidating charisma i just feel like his personality and charisma from black panther still carried over to this what if right yeah yeah um i like the um so i i, I talked about the the weapon that he's more popular he's mm -hmm. friends with yondu he's friends with thanos um how do you think how do you think how do you think that happened with thanos yeah well of him being friends with thanos like how how do you think how how did that start okay i know how as a, a t'challa version okay i know how basically as i interpreted in the episode again i did a recap um basically t'challa had an argument a very solid uh foundational argument that convinced thanos to uh uh, avert from his ways or his his concept uh, but to rephrase the question what did uh, T'Challa say to convince Thanos um, I don't know but it had to have been a very solid argument to convince him because that's what he said um, in a very indirect way it's like it just takes a good argument mm. to convince something I don't know so I think him con convincing Thanos I think the the convincing happened before he went and start destroying universes. The reason why I know, because I, I don't know if you noticed, there's no Gamora. And Gamora happened nice when catch. he destroyed planets and and uh, right, universes. He, he abducted, no, not abducted her. He, he, she, he did abducted her and adopted the, her. Yeah, adopted. Yeah, you're right. Because I was just kidnapped wondering. would be a proper term. I was just wondering what happened to Gamora in this one, but then it made sense. Her existence only happened when Thanos started to go plundering other worlds. Yeah, or or in his own term, helping other worlds, because he's like, I'm gonna destroy half of the universe so the whole planet will will sustain and live. Right. So I think I think Gamora was created. She was a creation, and called her a, a daughter. And then they um, they had, uh, and they admitted he was she was adopted. I, part of me felt like that there were some scenes that um, was from the Avengers movie, like you know how Lo uh, Thanos, not Thanos, uh, Thor was trying to convince to let me take Loki in versus give him this a death sentence or something like that. Wait, like, wait, which part? So again, after, after recapping with it, there were some mm -hmm. scenes that reminded me. Oh, there's some Easter eggs here. Um, so apparently, uh, uh, what's her name again? Um, Nebula. Nebula and uh, Thanos. I mean, they st have a awkward relationship, but they're like still don't they don't they don't their eyes don't meet. Um, so something they don't she doesn't like her dad for some reason, but still loves him. I don't know why. But Thanos will always love his daughter, of course. But um, there was a they had an argument and then one of the other characters said wait you're you're that's your dad you're his daughter oh are you talking about when um they first met loki and they're like my brother and like, like wait that's your brother he's killing Kinda. people it's like he's adopted oh okay there were okay. some scenes or well i guess what do you isn't the easter egg because you call it a nug or whatever you call it um a nod a, a nod, nod. A nod yeah. from the last episode a nod will be just a, a like a hint you know when you when you like when you like said a joke to get the joke you wink that's the wink like a nod okay you know what i mean like a i'm, I'm referencing i'm referencing this kind of thing all right you know what i mean so it's that's like, what oh 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 um um what is uh uh um what do you call that that like a secret joke a secret joke no it's a intellectual joke no 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 like only us know but oh, other people inside joke inside joke not it's like an inside joke to to movies because inside jokes are reference to what happened to oh, us okay. you know what yes, I mean that's right. a nod will be like a, oh they're nodding of what happened to this previous movie you know what I mean okay so using your term for nodding yeah there was that nod that kind of gave me it's like wait isn't that like a reference yeah to but what remember what Nebula said I think I know what you're talking about 
No, because so what they were going through, they were going through the plan of what's uh, uh, of their next gig, mm-hmm. because they were planning to go yeah. hit off the the collector, and she was saying something about the big guy or whatever. But she, as she was planning it out, and Thanos came out of nowhere and then said, "Daughter, I, uh, daughter," mm-hmm. I think he said, "Daughter, daughter, I thought you'd do this alone," and then. Um, I know who the guy. Uh, what's it? I don't know his name. The yeah, one you're talking about the the fan girl yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. So the fan guy looked at her and was like, "Wait, that that's your dad?" I mean, he's and so forth. They were uh, trying to. It's like, I was like, I can't believe it. And it's like we're adopted. She's adopted. They both said adopted. Do you remember? Oh, that okay. Scene? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get so it, there yeah. were some things that were uh, that I caught nodding, and for some reason, Nebula reminds me of of uh, uh, someone from a cartoon character. Um, uh, like some she's so swooning serious uh, in a gorgeous way but she's like a secret agent I don't know what kind of character like a, a baby bop or those what the heck is baby bop I don't, uh, hold on I don't I, I can't uh, baby no there's a character so there's a character in regular cartoons American cartoon where there's a, a girl that would be like some a uh, singing model uh, dressed up all nice, but she's a secret agent for some reason. I don't know. Because she had a blonde hair. I'm still confused why she has hair. I, I know. That's uh, that's another thing that I put that in my notes. Nebula with hair. <laughs> I don't know. I, I know. We know that's a what if or that's a... That's not a cause of T'Challa. It doesn't make any sense. What would be... Why would she have a hair... If Thanos is a good person, like I feel like her hair has nothing to do with Thanos being a good person. She reminds me person. of a female Robin Hood, but there was some other character out there, or some American hero, female hero who is. Are you talking about um, uh, Carmen San Diego? <laughs> I don't know that. Carmen San Diego is the one with the the red um, over not overalls but red um, dress. Not dress, um, blazer, red blazer with a hat on, and you can't see her face, or kind of like yeah. she's like who found Carmen San Diego. Oh, I'm not familiar with the name. Oh, okay. Um, but um, this Nebula is, has a very different uh, personality, though her attitude or her mannerism still the same. I still can't c- get comfortable calling T'Challa Cha Cha. <laughs> cha-cha, cha-cha. <laughs> no, but I think so. With the the conversation with Thanos, it has to happen before him killing a lot of people. Before he started killing all these, or maybe maybe even started. No, it can't. Because um, I was thinking maybe even started before or before um, the desolation of Titans. But well, no, Titans was uh, according to that whole episode. Titans was still alive. It's just T'Challa was able to somehow save it yeah but what would he have that uh, idea of ruin of destroying half of the universe because the only reason why he had that idea of destroying half of the universe because of what happened to his planet yeah because his planet was uh being destroyed by his own kind he uh, how i understand thanos uh the world of destruction was similar to superman's uh um, parents found fa- family dying um that is he was trying to convince people I don't know what he was trying to convince um, but everyone wasn't listening thus it killed the planet for whatever power they were using or um, do you know what I'm talking about with Superman's no. world okay what I'm saying Superman's world died because they kept using the planet's power so I'm mm-hmm. saying that Thanos world it was the same thing and Thanos tried to save his world but didn't work but I might be wrong I'm this is all wrong basis. I'm just trying to remember how the movie goes. <laughs> I thought I thought Superman is just like what happened to um, Superman's Goku. parents. Yeah, Superman's I know. Superman's parents. I know Goku, like Goku's parents. Like the the government is against Goku's parents, um, or the leader, the king, is against Goku's parents, and they tried to kill his whole clan. Um, so they sent him out, and that that um, ir- regardless of what happened with Frieza, um, you know, like the king, because he's gonna be like the the um, um, a powerful soldier, so he's jealous. You know what happened with um, with Broly too. That's right. why his dad sent him out. Or I guess it's oh. more Broly than Go- than Goku. Okay, Broly, I get. I only just compared it with Superman because parents, not Superman. 
Just his parents. Oh, yeah. Well, when I say Goku, I'm talking about the parents. But the only parents I know is Bardock. I know, right. Oh, That's okay. why I, I, I take it back and I said it's, bro, it's more, more broly than yeah. uh, Goku. Well, anyway, going back to your question initially, what convinced Thanos to be on the good side? I don't know. Yeah, well, we'll never know. But what we can assume um, that most likely happened, it's got to happen before he made his mind on killing half of the universe. Yeah, I mean, he um, still carried his concept, but yeah. Right, and that's why I think that concept happened, might have happened um, during the Titans or, you know, like the destroying half of the Titans. So what do you call that? Do you call that, do you still call that genocide? Because he keeps saying it's not because it's random death. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess I guess it is not. Okay, so when, when you say genocide, you select group of people right or certain amount of people race. to not not necessarily race but it can well, be like a region any, or it can be a group. you know like um i i want i want the whole i don't know colorado to die you know that that could still be genocide uh, it doesn't have to be a race but he, like you know the group of people that you're trying to scatter but for him it's like it's like random and when he said random that includes him hmm and he just happened to be the lucky one to not uh, not disappear. Right, right, and that's why that's why he thinks it's not genocide because that could be him too. Mm. Another point, uh, one of the funny things that I thought was pretty uh, funny. Would you call it racist if you say all humans are alike? Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, I, I was like, wait, that's <laughs> how's that racist? Because it's talking, it's not talking about. Uh, ethnicity or nationality is talking about humans itself. Well, humans are race, you know, that's why we're called human race. That's true. I forgot who made that point that race is referring to the beings on the planet. But you know where I got that uh, that funny th uh, idea from? Who? Oh, no, it's from the episode. It's because um, when they made the mistake of uh, abducting T'Challa. Uh huh. When... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was the name of that guy? They made fun of him because he has a very weird name, like a funny name. That was that dude. Uh, oh, I know who you're talking about. I just don't know his name. He was trying because uh, he was trying to think of a, a like a war killing name, but yeah. ra uh, Raccoon Rocket was making fun of his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 was the guy. <laughs> that was the guy. And it's like oh, they're um all human. No, all humans look alike or something like that. <laughs> it's like all yeah, humans look like, alike. Yeah, they have. T yeah, he was saying he oh, has yeah. two holes. <laughs> Two C's, two and one eat. I was like, "What? How do you compare that?" <laughs> okay, um, what else? So Nebula has a hair. Um, the cha -cha. Um, collector, the collector is the main villain. Yes. Um, apparently, when Thanos uh, uh, was con was, you know, decided to work with uh, T'Challa, uh, there was a role of being the global uh, galactic. Then uh, Nemesis, which it was the collector, and the collector here, he was more legit versus the collector that we all know in the MCU. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny that even the same followers or um, Thanos sons are the same followers that the collector has. Yes. Like, so I assume that the followers or sons that the collector has uh, chose to be with him because of power or authority. Yeah, or maybe like, like, like the kids, the, not kids, but the, when I say kids, because they're sons, um, only follow who's powerful. That's why yeah. they go to. Or, I mean, the because if he's a collector, he went from different worlds and just got what he wanted due to blowing them up or something. But I could be wrong. Because he uh, said he I mean, took the role of Thanos. Or, um, yeah, uh, the collector mentioned that he took the role of Thanos. Well, he took the role of Thanos of being just the the the, the powerful, most, most powerful, yeah, yeah, powerful being. Because if he took the role of Thanos, he should be killing half of the universe. Yeah, yeah he didn't because he was just collecting what he liked. He was a big collector. Yeah, he had way more collection in here than in versus the, uh, the canon yeah. MCU. Yeah, and the one in the MCU, he just seemed like an obsessed looking guy. Obsessed, sick well, in the he's head a guy. creepy, obsessed looking guy. Yeah, but, but this the, one, yeah, but the <laughs> did you notice that the same, um, not death, but the same, um, downfall of the collector is the same downfall that he had in Guardians of the Galaxy. 
Oh, because of the girl? Yeah, the assistant, right? <laughs> the assistant. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's oh, always yeah. the assistant. <laughs> that didn't change. I thought that was yeah. pretty neat. Right? But we didn't see the sister, though. The sister of the assistant. Because in the Guardians oh, of the Galaxy, there was, a green, a there was a green chick, right? No, I think they're the same. Oh, no. You're right. It was the green chick. I thought they were the same color. I thought they were both, like, reddish. Oh, I might be wrong. But for some reason, I remember green. Yeah, Maybe it's because of Gamora. thinking about Gamora. Speaking of Gamora, there wouldn't be any Guardians of the Galaxy, huh? No. They were, or, uh, he, they were considered a galactic hero anyway. Guardians of the Galaxy was a name that was made up by... No, the, no, I'm talking about Rocket and Groot. Oh, you mean the crew? Yeah, yeah there was no, no, no one. They were not going to be... Um, Drax was there, and he was nice. He's nice because Thanos didn't kill his family. And this is why I think... I think the Chala convinced him before he started killing the universe. Because Drax's family is still alive. Yes. Yep, that should confirm it. Because uh, he mentioned that he he saved this planet from the Creel. Mm -hmm. The Cree. The Cree. The Creel. Cree. Yeah. Cree. Now, if you think about it, the Cree, right? That should be another what if itself. Because the Cree in Captain Marvel are good people. Unless, no. unless in the comic books, the Cree are there's a secret war, and that's the Cree. They're evil. The Cree were evil. Um, yeah, Wait, they I'm were thinking evil. about Cree. Or... You're thinking about the scrolls. I'm thinking about the scrolls. Cree is f where Captain Marvel is from. Yeah, where the, he, they kidnapped her and trained a which brainwasher. Which is which is the fan fan guy, the fan. Um, where the fan, fan guy, guy is from? Yeah, yeah, he's from he's Ronin, a Kree. the the, um, the yes. first nemesis. Yes, he is a Cree. That's yes. right. He's like the leader of the Cree. Yep. Yeah. Besides the the weird voice, the old lady voice. Old lady voice. Old lady voice. Yeah, yeah. In Captain Marvel, the chick that's oh, yes. yeah, controlling her. The old lady. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, so let's talk about some of the. Speaking of collectors, let's talk about some of the weapons that I noticed that he had. He had all of the Avengers. Well, at least two of them that I saw. He had. Um, the collector, uh, when he was starting a fight, he had the shield. Yep. He also had Milner. Milner. I Did saw, he? Yeah, he had Milner. I mean, it would only makes sense because he also had uh, Hell's um, he uh, helmet. I was like, how could he carry it? He's not worthy of it, but he had it. Well, unless unless he took it before. Um, before the dad put before it. Before Odin put the, the, the spell. Uh, the spell on it. I put a spell on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I didn't see the Mjolnir, but I saw the shield. I saw Hela's um, hat or cap, which it's kind of weird because it's like you called it. It's like, oh, I didn't know her power comes from that cap. I'm like, yeah. I thought she just, she just summoned it. You know what I mean? Right. Which kind of makes sense now if you think about it because in Ragnarok, she had to have that thing on for her, her to for her to have the the knives the swords the big spears and things but she like that. used it more stronger than the collector i would assume the collector would be quite powerful with it yeah because she um because the collector only summons one at a time yeah hella like summons like a, a, a hundreds, a hundreds or if not a hundred he she would a big huge blade yeah like like from the ground exactly you know what i mean um like Hela really trained, and with Hela is more powerful than the Collector, so I, I I don't know how he got it. So, well, yeah, Hela is, is more strong. But what tripped me uh, what tripped me off because when um, what's his name Yondu got it knocked off from from his head, her head, or his head, sorry, his her. When it fell, the blades it cracked like it was some glass helmet. Mm, I was like, yeah, how is that powerful? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the same idea. I was listening to this podcast, the uh, Marvel Cinematic University, um, uh, talking about power and ability. If um, if Vision, the Mind Stone, yeah. is one of the most powerful um, stone in the universe, it shouldn't take one hit in the head for you to get knocked out of the uh, the hypnosis. Okay, so now since you brought the stone, Hawkeye in Avengers got hypnotized by the Mind Stone, and all it took is just one kick in the head. Hit on the on the on the bar, uh -huh. the rail, and then Tim he's back. Bat. Yeah, like, he can't be that powerful then if you only take that that quick. Speaking about the stones, the stones didn't even play a role here. I mean, they captured the orb but never used it. Well, it's because it wasn't. Um, Could be uh, Ronin. Ronin only wanted the power stone. He didn't want to collect all the infinity stones. He just wanted the power stone. Well, in general, it it wasn't being used. I mean, even. During the collector's time, uh, when they were trying to explore the the power of the stone, explaining it, that didn't happen. Yeah, I think it's it's because of the um, the focus of 
um, you, getting the getting the because the focus is not the stone. The focus was the whatever plant they were trying the, to get. Yeah, the plant that can sustain the whole universe. Actually, now that I remember, they did try it, but because of the plan that um, uh, Nebula and T'Challa had was to make a distraction, um, the ravages on the outside. Um, there was a scene that they were about to, you know, talk about the orb, but all the they got caught basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, because like I said, it's it, the focus. The focus of the whole show is not the Infinity yeah, Stone. Yeah, it's not the Infinity Stone. It has Stones nothing about. to do with the Infinity Stone anymore. It's because of the that that plant, that right. infinite plant that can <laughs> sustain the whole universe. universe. So he doesn't need any any more Thanos killing half of the universe. Mm, yeah. yeah. I feel bad for that uh, nowhere because you know it, it was a city basically people were filled with it right but that went downhill when that little plant kind of grew it eh it was the same thing in Guardians of the Galaxy anyways it exploded not nowhere uh, not Guardians of the Galaxy Infinity War did nowhere explode yeah remember Thanos went there and grabbed the reality stone well he burnt it but it was just a big celestial head with a city and it all into burns but he didn't like, well, destroy the city if you think city. about it how can it just burn it can't just burn he has to, there has to be an explosion happen oh, true yeah because all of them were dead mm -hmm. um, yeah another weapon that I noticed I don't know if you noticed it Korg's arm is in there yes Yeah. I, I, when I watched it again I'm like isn't that Korg's arm and then uh, he explained it he got it from uh, a, a very talkative character yes I was yes. like oh yeah I was so trying nice. to think I couldn't I couldn't think of his name so I had to google I was like who is this sticking rock again and it was Korg yeah. I felt bad I was yeah. like oh man he took out Korg's arm yeah. he was a yeah. cool guy what if though yo what if that um, plant is related to um, uh, Groot? Groot maybe maybe that's the real Groot not uh, life is uh, like uh so, uh, essential being he was actually just a very powerful plant that's interesting yeah yeah what else did I see in there there's no reference of um, rocket unless we see unless there's the gun there the rocket rocket's gun but there's no reference of rocket um, there's no of course there's no Gamora there was, was another Drax. reference of the uh, the brothers uh, Than uh, Thor and Thor and Loki. Oh, um, the um, the dagger. One of the dagger that he uses, Loki's dagger. No, it was actually a dark uh, dark elf. Was it a dark elf? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he uh, he explained this like this weapon is from uh, a dark elf. I mean, he made a long sentence of, of where it came from, but long story short, it came from a dark elf. Mm, okay. No, well, uh, we also saw a dark elf in there, which uh, we saw in the first um, the Guardians of the Galaxy. What else did I see? Uh, I know. Okay, so you saw the shield. I guarantee. I saw the, the hammer, and I'm trying to see if there was another thing I saw. Uh, well, we all saw the helmet. Uh, Hell's hel hell is hel helmet. Is it Hella or uh, Hell? In MCU, in MCU, it's Hella. In uh, Norse mythology, it's Hell. Uh, okay. For some reason, I thought it was Hell. Okay. Um, what else did I see in there? What else? What else? Well, uh, Howard was there. And yeah, Howard was there in the first Guardians of the yeah, Galaxy. Yeah, but his role was a lot more in this one. But then he didn't really do much. Yeah, that that scene was weird. That, yeah, I, that I, scene I, that that scene is um is it's a big filler. Maybe it's, it's not yeah. needed. I mean, maybe it's because I'm not sh familiar with Howard the Duck, uh, what he actually is in. Uh, in MCU but yeah he was a big filler I mean I guarantee without him there the the episode still could have gone no I think I think though I feel like um, they put Howard, Howard the Duck there because people wanted more Howard Howard the Duck oh. when they first saw him in the first Guardians of the Galaxy they're like oh there's Howard the Duck out you know can we have more Howard the Duck but we had another Howard the Duck in Endgame a little bit really? he was there yeah he was there fighting with them um Oh, you see just that. a little bit. You see a little bit of Howard the Duck. Oh, that's um, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, but that's it. So I feel like that scene was just yeah. Okay, we'll give you Howard the Duck. Here it is. So he was just like, that's let's just it. throw him in there. Yeah, interesting. That's it, because we all know he was there. 
we've seen him in the first Guardians of the Galaxy. So we'll just give you him again. Um, um, so there won't be there won't be um, there will not be Guardians of the Galaxy uh, first and second. Uh, and then let's talk about the uh, um, before we talk about the ending. Do you have anything else? Uh, oh, we're still we're going to the ending. Um, I thought there was another nod, as you call it, in that whole fight. Uh, you remember Thor and Loki when they were going up the elevator? Oh yes, yes. Yeah, with uh, T'Challa and, <laughs> and Yandu. Yandu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what. Which I've... is weird because it's like, what would be? Why would there be another if it's not Thor? It has nothing to do with Thor. Yeah, because there was another scene in there that I thought it was a nod, but I might be wrong. Where you know how uh, Thanos stayed behind when they were running back to the planet or back into the plane mm-hmm. from the enemy, but he stayed behind. Um, and when he turned around, he says that I'm not, I'm not. Something. Oh yes, yes, it's from from Avengers. Um, uh, he reminded me of the scene of Hulk. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying I'm mad. I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah. you're always mad. Yeah, yeah, I'm mad because um, because Hulk said. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. Yeah. And he said, I'm mad. But because he's a mad titan. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm he's mad. a mad titan. Um, But they made Thanos weak here. And this is why I said, this is why I think, and that's another another point that I was going to say. So why I think this is before Thanos decided to kill half of the universe. Because he was quite strong and experienced he, in the fight. Because he's more trained. Okay, that makes sense. More, you know, more vicious, more savage. Mm, he was, because he could he could have defeated that guy, uh, one of the the sons. He mm-hmm. could have defeated that easily because he defeated um, Hulk in hand by hand combat. Exactly, it was a very big contrast between the Thor that or Thanos that we know in MCU than this one in the What If. Very big difference. A huge difference. And he was very. Uh, well, he was talkative there because he was the main villain, but he was quite talkative here, not in an, uh more enemy sense, more of a annoying sense, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But, um, uh, yeah, th- uh, that was that. I'm trying to remember if there was another one. I kid you not, I have to say it. Nebula reminds me of Black Widow for some reason. Oh, I can see that. I can I can see that. Um, I can see that. That's her character. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that, but she's more um, she's more charming than than the Nebula we know. Or no, than no, than Black, Black Widow? Widow. Yeah, she's more because she's she's calling names. You know what I mean? Like, like she's Jaja. giving them pet pet names, and I don't think Black Widow would ever do that to anybody, giving them pet names. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, she like cha cha. That still doesn't ring in my ears, don't, right? Don't you feel like there's like a romantic relationship between the two? You know? I really think there was or something. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because uh, T'Challa was a very smooth talker, and she was uh, taken from that, and just decided to give him a nickname. I don't know. Yeah. Um, what else happened there? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's all I caught. I mean, I just watched it. I'm trying to remember anything else. I'm trying to see if there was anything important in the collectors. I mean, he went and found his. Wait, that was new to me. Has it always been a thing that his necklace resonate to any Wakanda things? Oh, it's because of the um, it's because of the vibranium. Okay, it's only because of the vibranium. Has he always That's had it. the vibranium? I'm trying to remember. I don't think he had it when he was a kid when he was abducted. Um, that that I don't know. That I don't know. He might have, he might have had it because I I would imagine being the. The prince, you mm-hmm. would have a distinction that you're a prince. So right. it's like a ring. You know what I mean? Like if you're a noble, you would have a ring even you were a kid. Right. Um, or a robe or insignia. things like that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, like yeah. a distinction that you are noble. noble. Yes. And that's, that part of it is the vibranium cause, right. um, because of that. Um, okay. The what if too. And I think the what if started not just from Yandu um, going and abducting... Um, um, T'Challa the what if started when Wakanda opened up the world early um, they didn't really wait what yeah because they opened up they didn't hide themselves from the world they opened right away 
No, they were still hiding. No, no, they 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 mentioned that like, oh. this is the the Wakanda when they open up the world and it's a mess. Yeah, because they were looking for their son. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Unless unless that was a Yandu um lie, no, another part of Yandu's lie about the um the the the, the Wakanda because the lie that he told the child, remember? Yeah. The they, the people died. destroyed yeah. Wakanda. Yeah, the people destroyed Wakanda. Right. That's right. So that might be another lie of Yandu that they opened Wakanda to the world early on. But I feel like it was mentioned in the beginning of the show. Mm, I think they mentioned something. I They said it so much. I was reading and watching at the same time. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Now let's talk about the ending. Um, this is Peter Quill seeing Ego. Right? Yes. Now you have the Peter Quill um, what if because he wasn't abducted. So he's stuck being just a normal kid. And doing normal things, which is he was what a janitor in a restaurant, yes, right. Um, until he met Ego, yeah, his dad, yeah. So, and okay, go ahead. So, the what if there is what's gonna happen with, with Peter Quill? What caught me is the word of the watcher. The watcher said that the world was going to end or be destroyed. So, I assume that Peter Quill would have went with his father's plan of absorbing all the planets and being used by his father because his dad needed him for something right yeah yeah no i don't think he wouldn't have went with his father remember in the the second guardians of the galaxy he was controlled by his dad like the only reason why he got out of that is uh with his friends with rocket and Groot and gamora telling him not to um because he was it was during the time when his eyes already white and his ego was already sucking all the okay bit, yes. um, thing out of him so i would assume that he would have went with his dad anyway no i don't think so though like he will go with his dad but once he find out that his dad gave him gave her the cancer he will still be mad and all but but he will get captured by ego the thing is that we don't know if the the mom was cancered or not we don't know if the mom died or not it didn't show it just showed straight to wakanda yeah but i mean if you would go with the you would go with the the assumption of ego and having a kid you know what i mean uh maybe you're right because uh he was listening to the music that assuming his mom his same mom gave mm -hmm. so probably his mom yeah. did die i don't know because yeah. um, because remember ego didn't know that there was a um um uh peter quill he didn't know not until he was already an adult or a younger person because if he knew that there was a Peter Quill that he made a, a son because that's his whole goal is impregnate, imp impregnate all these women so he can have his uh, own uh, offspring uh, and his own right. version of him um, but he didn't know that there was a Peter Quill that's why he gave her cancer and then eventually he found out about Peter Quill that's why Guardians of the Galaxy 2 happened I don't think he would have known though I don't think um uh, uh, Ego would have told him then. that. Well, would be a... Guardians of the Galaxy 2 told him. You know what I mean? Yeah, but none of his Guardians of the Galaxy friends were there. No, no, they were there. They, were, mean, they went to not uh, here Ego. Not what if. Yeah, that's why I think... So, okay. Um, imagine being Peter Quill, right? And this what if. You're Peter Quill. You still have the same emotions. You love your mom, right? And she died. And um, you met your dad, and you found out that you are this uh, celestial being, right? Mm -hmm. Just like your dad. You have this ability, and then you met him, and then your dad suddenly told you, oh, it breaks my heart to give her that cancer. A spirit quill, what will be your action? You'll be mad at your dad. But your dad, his dad, grabbed him and captured him. Okay, yeah. The, like the was... only reason why he got away with it, because his friends, the okay. Guardians of the Galaxy, helped him. Okay, I see what you mean. So he will still be against his dad's plan, but he'll still be helpless because he doesn't have his friends. He doesn't have any friends. And that's why that was the end of the world. Yeah, okay. Because the Guardians of the Galaxy blew up Ego. Not Quill. Ego. Yeah. yeah. No, no, not, not Quill blowing up Ego. It was his friends, Rocket and and um, Groot blew up, blew him up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I remember. So okay. He would he would have been captured. He would have he would have gotten defeated by Ego. Yeah. In that in that fight if they started fighting. So I think that would that would be the what if, if Peter Quill didn't have Guardian of the Galaxy and found out, um, Ego killed his mom and got mad. They started fighting and he will lose. He will definitely mm. lose. 
and yeah, he would definitely lose. Yeah. Okay, so you're, I think you're right. Yeah, if Ego t- will slip his mouth the way he did in the fir- in the movie, then yeah, Peter Quill will definitely yeah, uh, will definitely say no. Yeah, but would you think Peter Quill will turn to a bad guy? Yeah. Just like his, just like his dad. Well, he would have been dead because his dad um, needed his power, so he would have been dead mm. regardless. Right. Yeah, the dad was just. No, well, what was his dad? Was his dad trying to get his power because he wanted to fight him now, or he wanted to work with him? Because I feel like at first that was the initial. Okay, so when that he, was the initial plan is to work with him. Um, uh, in the, in both the movie and what if? No, no, yeah, in the Guardians of the Galaxy two, I think that was the first initial. That that's, that's oh, the initial. Plan. Okay, so yeah, because he in, he never met his father, and he finally met his father. It was an emotional, touching human moment. No, no, I'm talking about with ego to yeah. Peter Quill. That was his plan. Uh, so ego to P- uh, Peter Quill. His plan was to work with him until, but to use him to get the power out of him. Because, mm. um, because then I remember Peter Quill didn't die. Ego still absorbed all the power from Peter Quill. But, um, uh, what did he do with this power? I'm trying to remember. Because um, who Peter Quill? Yeah, Peter Quill. Oh, when Ego died, his power disappeared. Okay, that's it. Yeah, so he's only powerful because of Ego. Yeah, Ego's yeah, that, existence. That's it. That's it. That's about it. Um. And I think that's it, right? Like, there's nothing else. Yeah, there was nothing else after that. Um, yeah, this was pretty interesting. It was a slow interest to me, but later on, it, it was... I liked it. No, I, I liked it. But I still I, like I the like first the, episode better. I like the series. It's because it will give you... Because I always, I always go with the... Um, and you know me, I'm, I'm very critical when I watch movies. Yes. Um, I always go with different endings, different assumptions of what's going to happen or, or what if you do this and that. So this is like this filling, is filling very, up my satisfaction. Yeah, of this is very movies. you. This is your type of show. Yeah. Cause and, and also like compare and contrast with the original one and... You know, with this what if, so it, it it's good. It's I like it. Maybe I should. That's my outlook. I should see it that way, because I'm yes. so stuck with the. Uh, yes, how it's it really, should... really helpful if you um, be open minded about it. Um, not not necessarily open. I think you are open minded. That's why you have questions and answers to all of these, to all of the um, controversial, not okay. controversial, but um instances in the movies no because if you notice me in everything that we watch when we do something that's been compared to what was uh, either in the manga or in the movie or in the series you always hear me it's like that didn't happen here that no why did they do this why didn't happen it's not me questioning like what maybe it could have worked that way uh like not like you you would have uh do the compare and contrast in compare and contrast compare and contrast in its essence of compare and contrasting me in the other hand will be comparing like why the hell did they do it that's not how i went uh, in that sense mm. yeah. yeah so because me i struggled in watching this in a sense uh, because i was already fixed on the concept who star lord was mm. who every character was and so i was confused on how i should feel about it but then i should start being open-minded or broaden my yeah, because what I critic- yeah what I go with understanding the movie itself, but at the same time having the idea of the original movie in the back of my head, so I have that in in when I'm watching when I'm watching what if, is going with the movie understanding the movie and then the 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 show mm. yeah my camera died so it's gonna be you <laughs> on this, oh man on this camera but we're we're done anyways. yeah we are done yeah. You Sorry, wanna, you had to. It wanna, started with his face, and then you're ending with my face. You want to end it? Um. So yeah, to all of our listeners, thank you for listening in. If you made it all the way out to the end of this pod, you are totally a fan of ours, and you have not yet subscribed. What are you doing? Like he would say, what have you been doing? If you've been listening and not yet subscribing, please subscribe. Press the subscribe button and follow us in all the things that we do we are all over social media we are doing the things that we do to bring an eye to the word of tmfs to the word of ph philippines now again we are all over social media you can find tmfs facebook 
Instagram, and what else? TikTok, Twitter. Uh, TikTok, Twitter. Again, where it's the Maximum Filipino Show or TMFS. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can shoot us an email at the Maximum Filipino Show at gmail.com. And if you want to find us individually, if you want to know me and him, you can find CB at where? Not rubbing my face. <laughs> You can find him in, uh, if he doesn't want to speak, I'll speak for him. Uh, you can find him in Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you can find him, The Gum Fam Show. Um, the Gum Fam Show. Okay, The Gum Fam Show. Just so you know, The Gum, The G-A-M-F-A-M Show. Um, you can see the activity of him and his family, and you can find me in all of social media as well, ish, almost all. It's either ffx waka one two seven or waka one two seven um i'm not very active in social media i just use social media to look to pass the time but if you really want to get a hold of us you can reach us individually but for me you gotta let me know let me know that you are a listener and want to let me know who you are and talk more about it yada 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 anyway Again, if you have any questions or concerns, shoot us a message. And thank you for being a part of this podcast. Thank you for listening.